How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I cannot fathom how hot it is outside. Right now it's going to sound like I'm complaining at like not a too hot temperature. It is currently 80 degrees outside. It was 85 while I was out getting food right now. And you're thinking that's not too hot, Drew. That's not too hot at all. Why are you complaining? You're a little, you're a little, you know, I can't cuss. You're a little bad boy. <clears throat> You're a little bad boy. I don't like that. <laughs> You're being a little baby, you know, like 80, 85 is not too hot. OK, the other info that I left out is it is 2.30 in the morning. It's it's really hot out. I don't like it. I can't even sleep comfortably. Recording a video in the middle of the day or working on my car, not happening. I would literally just be dripping sweat, not happening, not doing it. To everyone that's out there working like manual labor jobs or like, you know, I used to work in a warehouse. Miserable. I feel bad for you guys. Hopefully this video will lighten your day. But uh, I just I, it's it's yeah just pursue whatever dreams you want to do and hopefully you can get out of wherever you're at anyways today we are going to be looking at some goofy goobers crashing their cars and just some other clips that you guys tagged me and i didn't want to make a whole video of people just crashing because i feel like that gets boring after a while of just oh that guy's an idiot oh that guy's an idiot oh that guy's an idiot so um I, there's some other stuff in here too some cringe some shitty car products so we got the whole shebang in one video it's gonna be a good time anyways let's go ahead and dive right in if you want to tag me tag my instagram right here on screen let's go all right first clip Starting out with possibly the most painful clip, it, Porsche GT3 drift crash. This has to be the wimpiest crash ever, but also the one of the most painful because it's like going in slow motion, like time slows down for this. Let's take a look. The crunch, the, the, like you're biting into a crunchy taco from Taco Bell, just that oh, rips off the front lip. Oh, no. The funniest thing is whenever people do this, this kind of stuff and they crash and they're like leaving the scene, like obviously didn't destroy anything except for his car a little bit. It wasn't too bad at the same time. It is an expensive car, but uh, he didn't completely destroy it. But whenever they try to leave, they still try to do like a little baby pull to get out of there or a really like full blown pull and then crash again. But uh, he did a little baby pull to get out of there. And it just it's like it's like it's like it's happening in slow motion. It's like. It's it's literally happening in slow motion. It is like the wimpiest five mile per hour crash ever. Like, how does how does that even happen at that point? Just hit the brakes like you're barely even moving. Just fucking hit the brakes. I want to see if his front wheels lock up. No, nope, they don't lock up till the very end. He thought he could save it. He thought he was going to be able to save that shit. If he would have gave it, if he would have gave it any more gas, he would have smacked his wheels on the curb and fully spun out. But uh, he just he just destroyed the front lip and now he's dragging it down the street. Not a good way to start the video, at least not for this guy. For us, great time. You know, we're looking at this idiot destroy a car that a lot of people could probably call their dream car. Um, but luckily, for our sake and his, it wasn't uh, it wasn't that bad, honestly. But those, those lips ain't cheap either. Uh, my boy took the lip. Well, he didn't take it off. It came off from other circumstances off of his GT3. And he's just put on an easy lip since because it's 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 a design that notoriously tears off so I, I don't blame it you know it was gonna happen eventually but his is also an older gc3 it doesn't matter we're getting off topic here guy's an idiot don't be a bozo literally crashed in the wimpiest way possible five miles per hour bro you're gonna crash going five miles per hour tires didn't even squeal embarrassing all right next clip this is a shitty product targeted towards Mopar boys. So this guy's going to become a millionaire. They buy all of the dumbest products out there from every LED sold on the market. All of the RGBs, you know, they, they just go and raid people's houses, steal their PC setups and just install into their headlights that and disgusting looking diffusers and front lips and the shittiest sounding exhausts ever. So this will fit right in. Let's take a look. Probably copyrighted music, Chris, probably want to get rid of that. Okay, I don't know what it said. I'm gonna have to reread that, but uh, e I'm gonna mute it. This music is really annoying. Sorry. Um, it might be your favorite song. It might be your jam, but I, I am not feeling that song. What does it say? What does it say right there? Cindy. Okay, so it's it's probably translated to some shit. I don't know what it's, it actually says. My bad for that. I am not uh, smart, but at the same time, neither would be putting this on your car. You're putting something that limits how much brake lights and taillights are visible. Like I understand tinting taillights and smoking out taillights. It's a little stupid, but completely blocking it out and then giving like a little like, you know, a little ass crack hair of light peeking through. Probably not the greatest idea. You know, when that car's coming up behind you on a normal ass 
last day, honestly, and he does, he's not, he's not going to see your break in. He's not going to, he's not going to see it. He's not going to see your taillights. He's going to smack right into the back of this, uh, poor damn boat. And the boat will probably be fine. This thing is 4,000 plus pounds. Whatever the hell crashes into him, dead on arrival. Yeah, it's just a bad product. Shitty stickers probably will come off with a quick pressure wash. Um, I think they're supposed to be flames. Never seen flames like that. Doesn't look good at all. Has like, it's literally just a bunch of bullshit, honestly. Like I guarantee it sells though. Guarantee it. So just another thing, if you want to get out of wherever you're working right now, just sell some bullshit and you'll become rich. This I guarantee sells guarantee it too, bad I don't know what it says. A lot of people seem to like it. No, that's mixed opinions. A lot of people like it. A lot of people don't like this comment specifically right here. I think he's feeling it. I think, uh, I think he's feeling it. All right, next one. RIP Shelby GT500. We're, we're losing a lot of beautiful cars this episode. The GT3 lost a, a little front lip, a little oopsie. This one, it was not as fortunate as that one. I, I think this one's done. Let's take a look. Once again, probably copyrighted, Chris. Probably got to get rid of that. I hate when people are recording cars in their car and there's music playing. That sounds good. I mean, it's a GT500. Okay. Oh no, what happened? Whose fault? Whose fault? Who did this? Was it the Corolla or was it the GT500? I know a lot of people are quick to blame Mustangs for crashing and a uh, controversial opinion. Mopars are the new Mustangs, but th this, I mean, that's a side, that's like either a side swipe. So, okay, either he got T-boned, which is possible, but I... <laughs> I think I, I, I almost want to say the Mustangs for blame for this one. Just the way I'm looking at it, man. I have a feeling he got on it trying to show off a little bit. He got on it trying to show off, maybe get a little, little girl's number, not a little girl's number, but get a girl's number. OK, hopefully it's not a little girl. Jesus Christ. Uh, try to get a little girl's number. Try to get a little action going, you know, maybe have some plans for later that day or evening, whatever. And he probably got on it. These stock tires that Ford puts on, I don't know why they put on these tires made of like goddamn plastic because those cars make 700 plus horsepower. You want some some good compound, some R compound or something. Why are they putting on these dog shit tires? No idea. But um, yeah, I have a feeling he, he got a little sideways and fucking slapped the car and then ended up on the grass. I would love to hear the story, but I'm going to blame the GT500 on this one. I'm sorry. You know, maybe it's a stereotype. Maybe I'm being biased. Maybe I'm being, uh, maybe, what would it be? Not racist, but maybe I'm being carist against the car. Like Mustang crash, we, we're Mustang's fault usually, you know? All right, next one. This one's just painful. This one is just painful. Okay. Um, yeah, let's take a look at this one. It says, uh, girl, yes, show us the progress and happy birthday. Pimp in my ride part one before. This is a lime green Jeep, uh, Jeep renegade or some shit. Ride, okay. I'm not going to play the music. It's Megan the Stallion. Okay. So first things first, angry eyes. It's a Jeep thing. <laughs> it's a Miata thing too. And everyone should fucking cut it out. It doesn't look cute. It doesn't look funny. It, uh, it's especially on this. Like you got the wackest Jeep on the fucking market. And, oh my God. Not the tiger stripe. Not, not, not the Wolverine scratch marks. Please. No, please. No. You got the angry eyes and the Wolverine scratch marks. You're you're a repeat offender. That's what you are. You're a repeat offender. Yes, me and my car have matching eye scars. Okay, well, that's good. Okay, all right, cool. That's that's cool. At least it's a little like a little like a, you know, um, bonding moment. You know, at least you and your car have uh, matching eye scars. Um, and then we got the bedazzled engine start and stop. Uh, honestly, just a waste of money at that point. I mean, it's probably what 50 cents. So it doesn't really matter. Doesn't fit. Okay, yeah, should have checked probably beforehand. If your girl got one of these, let her go. She's for the streets. Well, it didn't fit on there. So God was saving her on that one. So that, that's fine with that one. The LED mirror, honestly, if my girl had this shit, she would probably drive with that shit on. Um, she loves taking selfies and loves staring at herself in the mirror. So honestly, that'd be a, that'd be a good one. Now we did miss the bedazzled uh, decapitator that, you know, in, 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 in case of an accident, that thing shooting out right at your face slash neck, probably not what you want. You probably want the cushion of the airbag, not some cheap plastic or metal projectile, some, some shrapnel coming your way. Probably not the smartest idea. Anyways, LED lights, but they didn't really fit. I, I mean, I guess, oh, I think those are those like interior trim lights and then we got a little uh, cover. Oh, and then a butt did you die sticker. I mean, in this car, you're not really breaking the speed limit, so probably not. Um, and that's at least it's in a spot where not many people will see it. At least they didn't put it like on the door. So I'll give them props on that one. Some smart placement there. Thumbs up for that. Well, the only thing I would really get rid of besides the the uh, the tiger stripe marks or the Wolverine scratch marks is the shrapnel. On a serious note, that's dangerous. I'd probably get rid of that one ASAP. The rest could honestly stay with your own car. You can do whatever you want. But yeah, great, great uh, pimp in my ride. Great job. All right. I don't know. 
if this guy's front lip was held on with bubble gum, but take a look. That quick disconnect lip came off the smoothest and the fastest I think I've ever seen. Like it would have been easier to just take it off, honestly, before coming down, because it seems like it was just held on with literal like, I don't know, shoelaces or something, some shitty shoelaces. It was held on with hopes and dreams. Like it, it, it didn't it didn't last very long. It really didn't last very long. Everyone was really impressed. They were like, yo, bro, your fucking lips gone, you know, and this guy was kind enough to come give it to him. That would kind of be embarrassing. But I mean, at the same time, they kind of I mean, they like that shit. You know, I, I think a lot of people are enjoying the uh, the show. I don't know if I would go and slap it back on, though, just because it's probably going to pop off on the next bump. I think at that point, you just got to throw in the vehicle and say, yep, you know, the bubble gum didn't hold, but uh, the car does look a lot better with it. Without it, it's like, you know, when people shave their beard. Sadly, I can't grow one, so we'll never know. But um, yeah, it, it, it looks like uh, it looks a lot better with it. So I don't blame you for putting it back on, but you're going to be in the same situation in about, I don't know. 20 feet when a leaf gets in your way. So car itself doesn't look half bad, but uh, either A, secure it with, oh, it's bumper came off too. That's a little painful. Either A, secure it with, uh, I don't know, something that won't break instantly or uh, get on bags. I don't know. A lot of people really like the static life, but uh, that's a little embarrassing. Not gonna lie. What's his plate? Say, I thought it said MILF. MILF heart we? MILF heart me? I think that's what it said. If that's the case, man, that is a fucking gangster ass plate. MILF heart me. Why the fuck didn't I think of that? All right, next one. BMW boys, explain this one. This one is going to end up in a lot of Mercedes uh, fanboy clips, so just explain this shit. Is it the car or the driver? Okay, very smooth, very clean. Audi just goes around kind of quietly. M5! Not how you do it. Not how you do it, buddy. Um, you're lucky that rail was there. That's a that's a pucker moment for sure. The the M3 smooth, very smooth. Maybe it's because he's got the wing and the M5 is lacking the wing. I don't know. He also just did it like in the, he started in the other lane. Uh, uh, like that's already a bad idea. Smacks that shit. Yeah, that was a that was a dumb idea. BMW, that one did it clean, like I said, but yeah, um, I feel bad because I guarantee once this clip gets a little bit more exposure, even though it clearly fucking has a lot, it's going to end up in those cringy Mercedes versus BMW clips. And this guy's just going to be everybody's BMW's worst nightmare because he's just tarnishing the reputation. I don't really have a side. I've never owned either cars. If I were to go out today and buy one. I don't know which one I would choose. I really like the old E92 M3s, but I also really like the older uh, C63. So it's really hard to choose for me. All I know is this guy's gonna have to choose a new team because he's going to get bullied by everyone. The Mustang boys will proudly take you. Your form is great. We've seen cringy clips like this one in the past. Once again, BMW boys down bad this month. Don't know what's going on. It's the start of September and you guys are looking horrible. You guys are down horrendously. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Oh, fuck, man. Even the caption is just cringy. BMW slash 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 M. The most dangerous breed on Earth. It's like a Joker quote. Honestly, I fucking shit my pants from that clip. Like, like in all honesty, I got to go and do a quick check because when that thing kind of thrust it at me, once again, some shitty copyrighted music. Ugh, dude, scary as hell. Almost actually kind of debadged it too because the badge got kind of wedged underneath the strap or over top. He yanks that strap. That badge is going <laughs> shooting right off. Right at the camera. Decapitating him. Learn your lesson. Yeah, shit's cringy, man. This guy said, hey, bro, <laughs> I got a sick clip, bro. Grab my camera. Okay, I guess. Uh, sure. What are you gonna do? Why are you tying a fucking strap to your car, dude? I'm gonna walk it like it's a like it's a dog, like it's a fucking dog. Like let's just like like when I say it like that, it sounds fucking stupid, right? Like it's even funnier when it's a shittier car. Like this this M3 or M4 is kind of sick. Um, if this was a Honda Civic, you know, it'd be even more embarrassing. But at the same time, it's like. This dude's got better shit to do. He's got business to go do. OK, like this, like this dude's late for work and he's doing this shit like we, you got the promotion, you got the car. OK, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just would be embarrassed of like women seeing this because like, dude, this just like, I don't know. It's like embarrassing. Like, it's like, how obsessed are you with your car or with your brand? I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. I, my brain just doesn't think like this, guys. And then like the, the comments, too. I, I have no idea what they're saying. A lot of people like it, I guess. This was actually well done. Was this done on the first try? I mean, it doesn't seem like fucking rocket science, man. It's like you're being like, like you're being pulled by the car and you just got to act like you're like stopping it and like tame the raging bull. 
That's a BMW, not a Lamborghini. Beast free. A lot of these people are eating the shit up. Holy crap, man. It's, it's Okay, all right. 70,000 likes. I guess I gotta go do this shit. Although I can't really tie a leash to my Supra's front end. I'll tie it to the turbo, to, to, the, to the blade in there. Yeah, I can tie it in there. All right, last clip. Uh, we'll end it with a shitty car product. I've never seen this before. I don't know how long this would last, but for the owner's sake, hopefully not long. Let's take a look. I guarantee there's gonna be shitty copyrighted music on this one too. Let's take a look. Yep. Like, I can admit that, like, it looks well done, but like whatever this fake carbon fiber hex weave is, is just that's just disgusting. And why do it on stock Honda wheels? Like, I don't really care that you're doing it to an Accord. Like people modify stupid shit. There's, there's probably people out there modifying Toyota Echoes and stuff. So, I mean, let's be real here. The fucking 10th gen Accord isn't the worst thing ever. But uh, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, when you got caliper covers in the background, nasty in its own right. But then you also throw on some fake carbon fiber weave onto a stock wheel and then put some reflective pin striping, I guess, to match the rest on the vehicle. I guess I guess that's there's logic there. My rap shop like this. I'm getting a new rap shop. Oh, I'm joking. Maybe his kid took the phone. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't know. I just can't also see that like really lasting that long. Like, I, OK, we all know this. I've said it a million times in the past. I've done the reflective shit back in my ricer days on my V6 Mustang. I've done it. I've lived it. That's why I can speak from experience. That shit actually held up pretty well. I ran that shit through car washes. I ran that shit with a pressure wash. Shit held up pretty well. I just don't think a sticker of this caliber with the fake carbon weave, I don't think it would. That's a big sticker. I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong, but I just I feel like the wheel, you got to really get it clean. And then, yeah, that shit better be some really good adhesive because the wheel is probably one of the dirtiest places on your car and uh, probably gets probably is the most violent place too to put something. Whatever. Stock Honda wheels. Why upgrade? Honda made them perfect. I guess. I'm not perfect because I guess you did modify them. Whatever. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Drink a lot of water. It is hot as hell outside. Or maybe it's not where you're at. Maybe you live with the penguins, in which case I envy you. But yeah, drink a lot of water. Stay safe. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below. If you see any clips like this, tag my Instagram. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.